What is up YouTube? Calvin with I-95 Muscle. Today we got a 1976 Grand Torino Starsky and Hutch edition. This thing looks pretty awesome. I think it's kind of iconic that we have the American flag back there. Go Starsky and Hutch, yay. Um, anyways, the paint on this thing looks absolutely beautiful. Um, I don't think there's anything to complain about as far as the paint goes. The wheels look beautiful. Sounds like there's a very slight exhaust leak on this side. Nothing major, nothing crazy. The engine bay's all clean. Uh, it doesn't look like it's been painted 10 times. Brand new compressor, AC blows ice cold. And I think I was gonna zero in on some of these details so that we can see. If you look at the door jam was painted all nice. The interior looks amazing. So all the seats are black, it looks like that seat belt right there has a little bit of uh, sun, sun discoloration, no big deal. Front seat looks good. That buzzer's uh, pretty annoying. Now the dash used to be brown. I think you can see that, uh, maybe not. You can kind of see right here where it used to be brown. The dash pad covers up anything that used to be brown that you can see. You might be able to see it down in here. But for the most part, the dash looks like it's in really good shape. Um, and let's go ahead and excuse my grunting and moaning. So if I lift up the dash pad, even up here it all looks really good. So I guess just up by the window it looks kind of like you can see some overspray stuff going on. And then really down here inside these little cracks you can see a couple little spots. No big deal. Let's close this hood. We're already two minutes into this video. Let's close this hood. He put uh, a lot of the original decals on it, so I don't know if he put that one there, but has a lot of the original decals. And then when you look inside the door jam, uh, I can't remember who he said it was, if it was Marty or somebody, but he had new labels printed, all the vehicle emissions control stuff. And let's pop this trunk so I can show you the trunk as well. So, it's got a new jack sticker. Trunk looks amazing. I would say it was a full-blown restoration. I've seen some restorations that weren't even this nice. So, we got a couple minutes left for this video. I'm going to uh, try to take you for a little spin. Uh, let's check out this other side. The window seals all look good. I guess the only thing that you can't easily get as a reproduced part is this piece right here. So he said these are original. Uh, or if they were like reproduced, it would reproduce later. They're not like new. Uh, the, the, all the weather seals feel nice and soft. All the way up in here, like all this is nice and soft. So that's good. These are new. We got uh, the vinyl floor, your little uh, light that you throw up on the roof, pretty cool. It definitely doesn't look like anybody spared any expense when they were doing this. But let's drive it. Fire's right up, like I said, AC works good, so That feels amazing. I'm gonna turn this off for the video though. Uh, as it's probably just gonna make a bunch of noise. All the gauges work. This thing drives really well. Brakes feel really good. That's no hand on the wheel. Brakes perfectly straight. Uh, power steering feels good. The power brakes feel good. <coughs> the rear view mirror has a little bit of 
if you happen to catch that, I may or may not have hit the record button and it stopped my recording. So, yay. But we'll finish this video out and let you guys check it out. One more time walking around it. Again, I don't think uh, I don't think they spared any expense when they were doing this. All the trim looks really good. The paint is just amazing. I don't even know how to describe the paint, but it's it's amazing. It looks good. So, and let's see. Uh, all of this is under clear, so the the stripe and all that it's under the clear. It's not just some crazy vinyl or sticker or anything like that. The tail light housings look like they're in really good shape. They almost look brand new. They're not cracked or dry rotted or anything like that. Yeah, you'd be pretty hard pressed to find some flaws on this thing. So anyway, thanks for watching. Just let us know what any whatever questions you might have.